You're watching the 2020 SCAC Spring Media Days. Today we're taking a look into the Trinity University Tigers softball program. Trinity coming off a 17-23 and 23 season a year ago, 11-12 and 12 in SCAC play, and another trip to the SCAC tournament. The Tigers will be led as they head into the season by head coach Abby Martin, along with junior outfielder Emily Vaslavic. And Coach Emily, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks a lot. Glad to be here. Coach, we'll get started with you. It was announced back in June that you were taking over as the head coach of this softball program. Sort of take me through this transition. Uh, what have you gotten to know about your team and how excited are you to finally get things underway there for the start of a new year? It's been an easy transition. I feel really lucky to be here. Like every day I get to go to work and I'm just super excited to you know, be part of this Trinity um, University Athletics Department. And um, I get reminded of that every day by the girls, really. Um, it takes a special person to be here at this university and be successful here. So, you know, ultimately I was surrounding myself with people that were very hungry for success right off the bat. And, you know, that's something that I always want to surround myself with. That's who I am as a person as well. So, um, again, I just feel really lucky to be here, and, and every day I'm, I'm reminded of that. As far as the team goes, um, you know, from, from the first practice in the fall, I just got the sense that they're just hungry girls, and they, they really want to win really bad. And um, hopefully, again, I'm the right person. Um, I got a great staff, too, Nicole Hennessy, my assistant coach. You know, we've really uh, – gotten the job done, I think, so far, and um, I'm just excited to see what the season brings. Emily, last season, you took a big step forward after 47 at-bats as a freshman. You uh, upped that to 107 last year as a sophomore. Having that experience, coming back now as an upperclassman, do, you know, just sort of take me through your mindset. Does it feel a little bit different this year? Do you feel like, especially with Coach Martin coming into the fold, maybe you're having to shoulder a little bit more of that leadership role as a junior leader with this group? Um, I think... Th I am definitely going to have to step into more of a leadership role, which I'm very excited about. Um, from freshman year, I did play a little bit, and then sophomore year, I finally got the chance to play more, which I was very excited about. And then this year, I'm just excited to see what the team does, and then hopefully we come together. And then with Abby Martin coaching us, I think it's just going to be great, and having someone that pushes us to do better. Coach, what's sort of been your message to your team, you know, here through your first preseason as you try and kind of establish your culture, put your fingerprints on this program that you're trying to build? What are one or two themes that you've really been, you know, focusing on with this group as you get prepared for a new season? Really just pushing them and, and seeing how, how bad they want things, you know, typically to, to get back to, you know, the success that this program once had. You know they're going to have to kind of step out of their out of their comfort zones and and really work harder than maybe they have um, you know prior to me getting here and I think that's just exciting and I think you know that's something that they have in the back of their minds every day and I've kind of kept a little you know I've kind of kept things um, kept them guessing a little bit honestly where maybe they don't know what to expect at practice and you know I like that because that's a big element of our game is we really never know what to expect and we have to adapt and be flexible and and most importantly just compete every day you know whether it's practice whether they're sitting in the classroom and whether we got you know TLU that day you know whatever it's it's every day every everything we do we compete very much um, to the best of our ability and I think that's gonna be a big difference maker so Emily, you're coming off a season last year in which you earned first-team All-SCAC honors as a utility player. You set career highs across the board and at-bats, hits with 42 runs, with 23 runs scored, 12 stolen bases, hit 393 from the plate, a 425 on-base percentage, and a 402 slugging percentage. What have you worked on, though, since that last season, kind of over the course of the summer, through the offseason, in the fall, to continue to grow and get better as a player as you head into your junior year? Um, I think definitely just working on the basics and getting better at that and then being more confident and getting in that leadership role and then being more aggressive, definitely. Coach, Trinity is one of just three teams that hit above 300 as a group last season. How do you continue that trend and what is your sort of philosophy when it comes to trying to get uh, your athletes comfortable up at the plate? I mean, you got to have attitude. I mean, you got to step in the box like you're going to wreck any pitcher that's on the mound, um, you know, whether she's an All-American or somebody's fourth string. And I think just instilling that confidence and, and really having a plan, too, goes a long way offensively, whereas we can really have a good idea what the pitcher's going to throw us or, you know, what the situation is, you know, where the runners are, how many outs. 
Um, the, you know, as we know, Trinity being so high academic, you know, these girls are very smart, and that's something that we, you know, intend to use as, as part of our game and is, is definitely as far as stepping into the batter's box for sure. Emily, finally, to wrap things up with you, as you've had conversations with you know, some of your teammates, uh, and what have those conversations looked like as far as the goals and expectations for this year? What are some of those, those goals you have for this 2020 Tigers softball program? I think one of the biggest goals is being very cohesive as a team, working together, definitely backing each other up, and being confident. I think that's definitely a big thing for us, being very confident this year. And finally, Coach, to wrap things up with you, you know, this season is successful if what plays out on the diamond for your team. What are you looking for from this group as they continue to take those steps and you build uh, your program there in San Antonio in this inaugural season for you? Just laying the, the foundation for the future. Honestly, I think this program can you know, get back to the top of the SCAC, and you know, we're going to compete every day in order to do that. Um, we got to pitch the ball. we got to hit the ball. we got to play good defense. Um, but at the end of the day, going back to what I said before, you just have to compete every pitch. If we lock in and we compete every single pitch this season, I think we're going to be really happy with the results. So, The Trinity University Tigers softball program. Again, the Tigers will get underway when they open up the 2020 campaign against Concordia in a doubleheader on February 1st. Trinity, again, will be led by head coach Abby Martin, along with junior outfielder Emily Vaslavic. Coach Emily, thanks so much for joining us today, and best of luck as you head into the season. Thank thanks a lot.